So I want to talk a little bit about the game engine itself and the technology used. Um, so here on the front end, uh, we're using jQuery and Knockout JS for the UI, um, and we're taking advantage of the HTML5 canvas and WebGL for the actual game rendering. The backend server is using Node.js, so we can talk about that in another video. So currently the game's broken down into scripts. You have your backend server scripts that are running constantly on all the creatures and entities in the game world, and then you have your front-end client interface. And we're actually giving players the, the same tools that we're using to build the game server, and that way they're going to be able to have a lot of control over how they play the game and also what they can contribute to the game. So first I want to demonstrate the interface editor and so I'm going to open up the status interface and that's your main character and as you can see here it's all HTML markup and it's using data binding with knockout JS and the interface is able to access all of your character data and all the data that you as a player can see so it gives you a lot of control over on this right side you can see the various ways that you can modify the interface and there's even a preview here that I can view all of the interfaces in the game are open source so you can easily preview them and then learn how they're built and that way you can build your own and then share them with other players if you want to do so so now I'm going through the code and changing the number of slots in my inventory and the change is actually going to take effect immediately. The server is going to see that I changed a portion of the game UI and instantly when people refresh their browser or what have you the the, the new UI is going to show immediately. So it, it requires no deployment and you, you can see how the interface is just a dynamic component that can be changed in real time. This means that players will build their own shop UIs, they'll build their own s auction house and bounty boards and all, all the UI in the game is going to emerge from the community and that saves the developers a lot of time because I can focus then more on providing tools to the players that simply give them more power. Next I want to demonstrate the scripting system and here you can see all the scripts they're all run on the server um, they actually exist on the server but you can edit them in real time and when you do edit them the changes are going to instantly propagate to any entities in the game world that are that were running that script. So the game uses JavaScript as its scripting language and you can access the quick reference here on the side to see the list of all the functions in the game and also add more or review the documentation. So we try to make it as easy as possible for people to just get in and start making changes um, to, to the AI and various things in the game. In general, players are going to create behaviors that they can attach to their creatures, and then those creatures are going to repeatedly perform those behaviors and basically complete tasks and goals that the player ha has set for them. So it's also worth mentioning that all of the game's server code is actually accessible to the player. So you can actually open some of the actions that are run on the server, look at how they work, and then you can use that for help in building your own script. And that's a really awesome feature because the game basically has self-documented itself by exposing its own code. So just to show the power of the code, I'm going to chop this tree here. And then I'm actually going to edit the core chopping script for the game. And the change is going to occur immediately. I don't have to reboot the server. I don't have to wait for it to propagate or anything. It's going to happen instantly. And that's that's awesome because it allows people and myself to develop the game in real time and you can see here I'm about to just walk up to the tree and it's suddenly saying I can no longer chop trees and that's because I modified the core game script and it happens immediately to any player in the game and although players can't edit the main world scripts, they can create spells. And spells allow you to modify the functionality of the world that you typically can't access. So as a player, I could create a spell to make trees come to life. And right inside this editor, I can demonstrate how I'm associating a script with a tree and it's coming to life and walking around. And that's the power I want to give players. There will be limitations, but it's an example of how powerful the game's scripting engine can be. And we can associate that with your character's powers and you know spells in the game magical properties and now 
the scripting engine allows your creations to come to life. So I'm going to demonstrate the hireling and scripting system in Topia Online, and as you probably know, all the creatures are controlled by other players. There's no actual NPCs, so we're giving players the freedom to create hirelings, as we call them. And you can't directly control the hirelings, so you have to order them around, or you write a script to give them custom AI. So as you can see, I'm dragging some scripts down to my hotbar that I plan on using. So any of the orders you ever want to give your hirelings, you can just sort of drop them down in the hotbar for easy access. I'm an admin, so I can create hirelings from thin air, but as you see here, I can move my mouse around, you see the cursor, and when I click, it'll run the script on the tile. So in this case, I was able to create a hireling, and then I dropped the follow me order on him, and as you can see, he's following me around. I also have a lumberjack script I can select here, drop on him, and we can just kind of see him go to work. Um, he can work autonomously, and he's pretty much just executing the orders that I wrote in the script. And So I can pretty much just create lumberjacks now out of thin air that will work for my character so that I don't actually have to do the work. So the beauty of the system is that players can create pretty much any assignment they want and give it to hirelings. and just have it done for them so that they don't have to get their own hands dirty and that's a really powerful system.